everything I ate during my super short hiking trip to Billy Go Trail in Maryland. So we were around the Maryland and Virginia area from Friday evening to Sunday afternoon. Our first stop was Gyroland and the place was really cute. I really liked the decor. There was like Edison light bulbs and turquoise chairs. For my dinner, I got the chicken salaki platter because I was really hungry. It came with the chicken, pita bread, Greek salad, tzatziki sauce, and fries. So at first I thought the chicken might be dry. However, it wasn't. It was tender and well seasoned, really good. Next I tried the Greek salad. It was very fresh and very appetizing. Next I tried the fries. Unfortunately, that was disappointing. It was soggy. I do prefer my fries to be crispy, but that's okay. I ate it anyway. And then lastly, I tried the tzatziki sauce with the pita bread. The tzatziki sauce was so delicious it was creamy and garlicky and the pita bread had the right amount of chewiness and softness to it overall i'll give this place a 8 out of 10. the next morning we went to mary Bu bakery and cafe for breakfast the place had an assortment of sweet and savory baked goods as well as other goods such as sandwiches i opted to get the chicken turnover and inside had potatoes chicken corn with a mayo based sauce it was very delicious and very filling it was a perfect meal before hiking and overall i'll give this a 7 out of 10. I just wanted to show you guys the scenery from my hike. This is Billy Goat Trail Section C along the Potomac River. Isn't it beautiful? For a late lunch and early dinner after hiking, we went to Pio Pia for Peruvian food. The place was very lively with the television on and with patrons speaking another language, which I think is an indication that the place is good. And there was also a beautiful painting on the wall. For my appetizer, I got yuca fries, and for my entree, I got the chicken platter, I got cilantro lime rice, and fajita vegetables as sides. So the yuca fries was really good. It was crispy on the outside and very soft in the inside, and it was lightly salted. So good. Next, I tried the chicken. So the chicken was juicy and tender. It reminds me of the rotisserie chicken that you get in the supermarket, but much more flavorful in my opinion. And then I tried the cilantro lime rice. It had a good flavor, but the rice was cold and I do prefer my rice hot. I'm not sure if it usually comes cold. And then next, I try the fajita vegetables. They were well sauteed and well seasoned and they had a nice crunch to them. And they were super fresh as well. Overall, I'll give this place a 8 out of 10. For dessert, we went to Old Fashioned Pops Ice Cream Company in Old Town, Alexandria in Virginia. The place had a long line. That's how you know it's going to be good. And then they also had a large variety of different ice creams to choose from. It was actually quite overwhelming. But ultimately, I chose the chocolate peanut butter caramel pretzel ice cream. It was super creamy, super decadent, and super delicious. Here's a close-up of the ice cream. You can see the pretzel inside. Overall, I'll give it a 10 out of 10. The next day on Sunday, before heading home, we went to Vitz Food, located in the Eden Center in Falls Church, Virginia, for a breakfast and lunch situation. I got the special vermicelli, vermicelli combo with barbecue pork, grilled shrimp, and crispy spring roll. So before you eat this bowl, you're supposed to mix everything together. This is me just mixing the vegetables on the bottom with everything. After you mix everything together, then you pour in the fish sauce and then enjoy. So the barbecue pork was very flavorful. The noodles with the fresh vegetables was very appetizing and refreshing, especially with the fish sauce. The grilled shrimp was grilled to perfection. It was super juicy, super tender, and it had a nice char flavor to it. And then the pickled veggies had a nice balance of sweet and sour. And then the crispy spring roll was crunchy and it had a very delicious pork filling inside. This place was actually recommended by a friend who lives around this area and she did not disappoint. This place was very good. I give it a 9 out of 10. 
So that was everything I ate. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment below which foods you find the most delicious in this video. And remember to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so. Thank you. Have a great day.